Hi guys, Ross here and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I created this glitch effect which was actually used in the video I uploaded the other day which was an intro for Mixo effects. So yeah, this is a really simple way to create a glitch effect. So let's jump straight into the video and I'll show you how it's done. So I'm going to create a new composition and you can make this any size you want. I'm going to be using 1920 by 1080 and a frame rate of 30 frames per second. I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to drag in my logo which I've got here and I'm just going to scale this down to about that size and I'm also going to drag in this video which is going to be the basis of how we create this glitch effect. Now I'll put this video in the description for you to download and what I'm going to do is just press S to bring up our scale and just scale this up so that it fits the composition. It doesn't matter if it gets distorted because we're actually going to hide this layer further on into the process so don't worry too much about that. So what we're actually gonna do now is create a new adjustment layer. So if we come up to layer, new and adjustment layer, and this is where we're gonna make our glitch effect. Now, if we come into our effects and presets, which is at the side, and if it's not at the side for you, you can just come up to window and make sure you've got effects and presets ticked. So what we're gonna type into here is displacement map. I'm gonna double click this to apply it to our adjustment layer. And now we can hide our uh, glitch stock footage. So I'm just going to come down to the layers palette, hide that and press the little speaker button so that we don't get the audio from that. And if we scrub through our timeline now, um, you see nothing is happening. So what we need to actually do is adjust which layer the displacement map is taking it from. So if we come into our displacement map layer at the top of the effect settings and just change that to screen glitch. Now if we scroll through, we can start to see we're getting some sort of glitch effect. And what this is actually doing is if we just show the video quickly and we play through the video, it's taking the movement from the video and applying it to the logo. So the next thing I did was actually apply a VR chromatic aberration, um, also known as an RGB split. And if you look now, once we've applied it, we're actually getting a black box. Now to fix this, we need to come up and we actually need to make a solid. So if we come up to layer, new and solid, and I'm just gonna leave it white and hit make comp size to make sure it's the same size as your composition. Drag that to the bottom layer and now you can see our RGB effect is working. So this is a bit too exaggerated for my liking. So if we come back to our adjustment layer and I'm just gonna mess with a few of the settings. So as you can see, we've got a minus 10 value for the red. And if we just bring that closer to zero, you can see that's changing how much it shifts from the original logo. So I'm gonna leave that about minus five I'm going to leave green at zero and I'm going to bring blue down to about five as well. So that makes it just a bit more subtle. And again, you can play with this as much as you like. You can set the point of interest so the colors will work around that. Um, and yeah, that's all up to you how dramatic you want the effect to be. But now what we're going to do is work on introducing text and creating a seamless transition between the two. So if we press Command T or Control T if you're on PC to bring up our text tool, and I'm just going to type in my name. So Ross Mason, and I'm going to press the selection tool or V on the keyboard and use the alignment tools to align that to the center of the composition. Now, what we want to do is actually introduce text further along the timeline. Now, just make sure that you've got your text layer below your adjustment layer so that it's being affected by the displacement map and the chromatic aberration. So what we're going to do is actually just start off with just the logo, but we don't want it to be glitching straight from the start. So what I'm going to do is go to about one second into our timeline and select our adjustment layer and press Command Shift D or Control Shift D if you're on PC. Now what this is gonna do is split the layer at the selected time you have. So at one second, I press Command Shift D and it split the layer. So we're actually gonna delete that first part. So if we go back to the beginning, you can see the logo is fine and then the glitch effect kicks in. And we're gonna go along maybe another second and split the layer again and delete that second part. So now we've just got this middle part where the glitch effect has taken place. So the text, we only wanna come in about halfway through. So the logo is gonna glitch out for a bit and then we're gonna introduce our text. So I'm gonna say roughly around here is a good point for it to come in. So we're gonna to come to our text layer, Command Shift D and just delete that first part. And then if we look at it now, you can see the text is introduced. So what we're gonna do is actually just extend that adjustment layer a bit. So if we got it selected and we go to the far right of the layer, um, 
and you get these arrows that are facing away from each other and you can use this to shorten it or extend it and we're just going to extend it a little bit because we want the logo to kind of glitch out a little bit before the text comes in now at the moment the glitch isn't very prominent so what we need to do is adjust some of the displacement map settings so what i'm going to do is come up to our adjustment layer displacement map and just crank these values up here and as you can see it's starting to affect the glitch a bit more so I'm going to put both of them at 50, so we're timesing it by 10 on both a horizontal and vertical axis. Now if we play it back, you can see the glitch effect is a lot more prominent. So what we're going to do now is just kind of play with the timing a little bit. So we need to first of all get rid of that logo. So about 2 seconds and 10 frames into the composition, I'm then going to want to get rid of the logo. So I'm going to come to the logo layer, Command Shift D and delete that second part. And if we play it back now, you can see we've got a glitch and then the text that comes out by itself. So essentially that is the glitch effect. We've used displacement map and chromatic aberration with a simple adjustment layer so that it affects everything underneath it to create this glitch effect. I hope you guys have found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below on what tutorial you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching guys and I will catch you in the next video. Peace.